Hello once again folks. So today we're going to learn how to join attributes by location. So in this case I have this Zimbabwean map of provinces that are found in Zimbabwe. So yeah, I need to represent uh, the COVID-19 cases which are still active in the country. But as you can see, uh, this, uh, this is just a shape file that I got from the data center which is from from Zimbabwe but it doesn't have any COVID-19 statistics on it it's just a shape file di displaying the province name and the location and some IDs without any any COVID-19 data so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ins I'm going to import uh, the COVID-19 data that I have because like every day I, I, I generate CSV files from my OpGIS online uh, server like this online server uh, file so I'm gonna import this file from yesterday because today's today's 31 so yesterday was 30 so this file contains the data from as of yesterday so for the locations uh, latitude field is the y coordinate and the longitude is the x so I'm gonna apply click apply and close as you can see on the map it has located the, the features where they are supposed to be placed. So these are the provincial centers for all the provinces in Zimbabwe. So now, as you can see, uh, open attribute data. This attribute data contains the number of cases. I'm just going to organize in ascending order. Number of cases, uh, the recovered, deaths, active cases, population, and so on and so on. So I use this location field to locate uh, the centers of these provinces okay so yeah now that I've imported my data I need to join these features so that this COVID-19 uh, data is attached to the polygons which to these polygons like these shape files so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this processing toolbar let's say it wasn't there how do I find the processing toolbar top here on the navigational menu you just click on processing and then click on toolbar or you can just click control out t yeah so i'm going to use the search functionality so i'm going to just going to type join okay so i need to join these features I'm just going to join by join attributes by location like that just join attributes by location uh, my base layer base layer is going to be the admin one file join layer I'm going to join using the sh these data from yesterday geometry predicate uh, okay is within intersects contains yeah just that so joint fields prefix um, joint fields prefix so I'm just gonna say join underscore create temporary layer okay that's fine with me then I'm gonna, just gonna run okay so it create, told me that there are no spatial indexes for input layer performance will be severely degraded uh, okay let's let me just check what happened so this is the new layer the join layer uh, open attribute table okay it still gave me it still created the join despite uh, the warning but for next time you have to create a spatial index for the points uh, for the point that is set layer in order to avoid any errors that might occur in case you have uh, a huge data set so in my case I only have 10 points it's because we have 10 provinces in Zimbabwe so uh, the column that I need is this one join active cases so this is the uh, column which contains the active cases in Zimbabwe so now I'm gonna turn off this initial layer and then I'm gonna turn off this one and then I'm gonna remain with this one okay so now I need to represent those active cases that I have so I'm just gonna right click and then go to properties because I need to represent them then I'm going to uh, categorize them you no know? I'm going to and just graduated features exactly so it's taking time uh, I think the background processes so as you can see here uh, 
in order to use graduated features it requires my uh my data set to contain um to contain a numeric value so these are the only numeric values that, that it is only detecting so in this case it means that um my um it means that my column is being detected as um let me just check on this column this column is being detected as alphanumeric, like as in letters. I can't find the column. Where's the column? Yeah, this column is being detected as alphanumeric. It's, it's, it's uh, detecting these as letters. So what I have to do is I have to create another. I have to create another column for this, which will be in alphanumeric. So I'm just gonna say uh, open field calculator. Yeah. So I'm just gonna create a new field, output field. I'm just gonna name this as active cases, and then it's gonna be a whole number. Yeah, I'm fine with that output length. Yeah, it's okay. So active cases, uh, it's gonna be number of cumulative minus recoveries minus uh, minus deaths. So I'm gonna look for the fields and values. So here we go. Okay. So so here we're gonna say um so we're gonna put in write an expression here it's a uh, number of number of cumulative cases minus the number of those who recovered minus the number of deaths in the country then the preview here I'm just gonna click OK yeah so we should have our new column this active case new column now it's in a numeric form it's just the same as this one as you can see there's no difference there okay so now we go and represent our layer we go and try again save edits yeah i'm just gonna see save all layers yes and then i want to disable this editing feature and then i right click click on properties again so now it should give us options to display as graduated. So you can see our active cases column is now back. So I'm gonna select a color ramp to display this. We don't want to scare people, so we're not gonna be using red. Uh, let me try to find orange. I think orange is a good color to represent this. So yeah, orange is yeah. We're gonna take orange, and then we're gonna classify. It depends on which classification mode you want to use. Okay, so in this case, we're going to be using uh, equal interval, right? If you use equal interval, it gives us the option. And then we click on apply. Then you say okay. So that's going to be our map there. It's going to be our legend, which displays when you when you want to create your map so that the public can view. So basically, this is how you join. This is how you join attributes. From the beginning, I only had I only had this point data set and this shape file. The poly the, the point data set contained the, the the values for the COVID nineteen situation currently, and then the shape file contained only the locations and the names of the provinces that we have in Zimbabwe. So, what it basically did was creating a join. Now I want to label these features so that you can see that there's no difference between the shape file and the joined layer so we're just gonna say labels uh, we're gonna create single labels we want to display the name of the province so we just say K okay, there okay no that was the name of the country <laughs> sorry unfortunately I didn't uh, get to change the the labeling feature so there we're gonna name this province yeah exactly this is what I want and then we apply so as you can see yeah the provinces Matabalan North, Midlands, Lawayu, Matabalan South, Mashingo, Manika Land, Harare, Mashaland East, Mashaland Central, Mashaland West. So these are the provinces from Zimbabwe which I managed to join using the COVID-19 data that I have and the ship files. So I hope this tutorial was useful in your for your projects that you are going to pursue and you're going to be able to join attributes by location we're going to you can also join attributes by field value 
by uh, by by the nearest. But this tutorial we're only focusing on location. So be sure to subscribe and like this video so that I can be able to create more videos for you guys to learn. I hope to see you next time. It's bye bye for now.